so named by my father. But behind its beautiful, gray, monotonous walls would soon live an unknown force that would play havoc with my life. Hunt? That's correct. Dr. McGregor is waiting in the limo for you, sir. May I take your bag? Please. How was your trip? Fine. You know, it is true what they say. Taking the train is a romantic way to travel. Yes. The last time I was in Europe, I took the Orient Express from Paris to Venice. As I remember it, it was quite a trip. Well, I'm sure it was. Why did you bring me here, Doctor? Well, <clears throat> in your ad, you stated, quote, former police detective seeks employment. Anything considered. Well, Mr. Hunt, Two words puzzled me, former and anything. You see, I worked with the Metropolitan Police as an undercover agent in narcotics. It took me three years to infiltrate a particular drug network. Unfortunately, when the raid went down, my superiors thought it best I leave, change my name, start a new life. And here I am. Yes. May I ask now, why does a doctor of your standing need a former detective willing to do anything? Well, Mr. Hunt, it's a rather unusual story. I've heard them all before, Doc. Nothing on her shocks me anymore. I think this story might. I was visiting the grave of a friend in this cemetery. And that's where it all began.
What is it, little girl? standing right there in front of her, not knowing what to do or what to think, except that little girl statue completely changed my life. Until a few years ago, I had a successful practice. I'm a psychiatrist. Or rather, I was. I'm retired now. But as sometimes happens in my profession, some of my patients' complexes and neuroses became mine. I fell into a state of depression. friend of mine, also a psychiatrist, suggested that I marry. But starting a family at my age didn't seem to be the answer. So I decided... This is a strange story. It's all right. Continue, please. I decided to adopt a little dead girl instead. I visited her grave more and more often. It became an obsession. Then I realized that the, there was some strange feeling between the two of us. We needed each other. Finally, she began to visit me. I'll never forget the first time. I was asleep. Very gently, her hand awakened me. I thought that she wanted to... Well, like when I saw her the first time, her statue at the gravesite, I thought then she wanted to tell me something, but I guess what I'm trying to say is there must be, there must be some mystery surrounding her death. Well, what exactly is it you want to find out? It said on her gravestone that she left this world tragically. I would like to know how. Who were her parents? And who left her grave so unattended? But why? I know it's none of my business. I'm just naturally curious. Mr. Hunt, why is the most overused word in the English language. That is why I am hiring you to find out why. Just name your price. 200 a day plus expenses will do me just fine. But just so we understand each other, I came to town to do a job. Money's not the issue. Now, when do I start? You started the day you got off the train. Here you are. Your first payment, 2000 Oh, by the way, very important. No one is to know about this. You're just a cousin here for a little vacation. <laughs> 
And you can use my Chrysler for transportation. It has a phone. Good morning, Father. Good morning. Can I have a couple of words with you? Please, uh, come in. Father, I was wondering if you could help me out. I saw a monument commemorating the life and death of a young girl. The name on the stone was Dolly Cooper. Cooper? You see, I had cousins that lived in this area by that name. Cousins whom I haven't seen for years. So, I was wondering if maybe you could help me find out more about her. She could be their child. Of course. Uh, come this way. Please, uh, sit down. Thank you, Father. Now, what year did you say that she passed on? 1980. 1980. And you said the name was Dolly Cooper. That's right. I, I don't understand. Uh, there's no one by that name registered in 1980. Are you sure? Uh, please, uh, see for yourself. But... How is it possible that someone can be buried without being registered? I don't know. M maybe Father Jonathan forgot to enter it into the records. Uh, I took over this parish last year after he passed away. I don't believe it. The child's grave is there. It says she died tragically in 1980, and you're telling me she's not even registered in the church books? But you said that she died tragically. Mm-hmm. Maybe the police station would have some information. If she was in an accident, uh, they would know about it. I hope so. Well, thanks, Father. Thank you. Nothing tragic happened to any child in 1980. We had two robberies, both solved. A workman fell off the top of a new building. Some woman committed suicide. A farmer cut his left leg badly, and that's about it. Excuse me. Constable Strickler speaking. Oh, hi, Judy. Yes? Uh-huh. Okay. Thanks anyway. No, that's it for now. That was the township office, returning my call. They checked everything available, but found no trace of a child named Dolly Cooper. I'm afraid your relatives probably never lived in this area, Mr. Hunt. Can I take a look at that thing? Sure. What about, what if they worked as seasonal laborers, or if they were just passing through the district? The child could have died due to an accident or an illness. They didn't want to report to the authorities. So they simply buried the child in the Weston Cemetery and moved on. You've got a good imagination there. But how to prove it? After nine years? Yeah. Is there a local newspaper in this town? The Weston Evening Star. Okay. Thanks for your time. You're welcome.
not. Oh. <laughs> you are a liar. Oh, no. Oh, that is too much. That is just too much. I can remember that one. Oh, for sure. There's a man here. Ooh. <laughs> He's gorgeous. Hang on. Hi. Is there anything I can do for you? Hi. I was wondering if you could help me with something. Oh, I just love helpless men. <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, I'd like some information dating back to 1980. 1980. Yeah. Yeah. It was a good year. The rock groups, the Phantoms were formed, and uh, their hit song was... Sweet Molly, yeah. And of course, mini skirts made a comeback. <laughs> and I lost the most precious thing a girl could have. I beg your pardon? Nikki, my favorite doll. Are you real? I know this will probably sound crazy, but I've been waiting for you all of my life. Well, I'm sorry I was so late. But before I ask for your hand, could I have a look at a complete edition of your paper from 1980? Now, that would have helped me a lot. I'll do anything to keep you around longer. You have no idea how boring this little town can be for a big girl like me. No, but I'm getting a pretty good peek at what you mean. There. Start with the first three months of 1980. You can use my colleague's desk. He's on an out-of-town assignment. Oh, thanks. On what page do you usually carry crime stories? Crime? In Weston? You've got to be kidding. If you mean accidents, fires, or brawls in local taverns, try the last page. Thanks. Call me if you need me. Yeah, Jen. Yeah. Well, I think you should maybe just uh, dump the chump. Uh huh. <laughs> well, that's my advice. to be a suicide at a local winery. An investigation is underway to determine whether the recent disappearance of a little girl led to this tragic event. Elizabeth Cooper was found in her attic room early today. Cooper? Miss Elizabeth worked as a maid for the wealthy Niagara vine grower, Miss Bloor. Dolly Cooper. That's it. That's it.
Well, I brought us some refreshments. Uh, thanks, but I really got to run. Don't want to run, but I really have to run. Oh, just like that? I mean, I thought we were going to have dinner. Well, next time. I promise, really. Next time? What, do you think I come with a rain check? Oh. if I could ask you a few questions about a previous employee? Well, that is, if you don't mind. Well, Mr. Hunt, uh, a number of domestics and seasonal employees come and go each year, but I'll do the best I can. Her name was Elizabeth Cooper. What did you say? She also had a lovely young girl named Dolly. Is something wrong? No. It's nothing. Memories. Elizabeth did live here some 10 years ago. But she left without giving notice, and I really would have no idea where she or her daughter would be. Miss Bloor, I'm a private investigator, and I already know what happened. But I'd like to know more about her daughter's death, specifically why she was buried without even being registered in the church books. And why don't the police know about it? Oh, God. Do I have to go through all this again? Miss Bloor. Mr. Hunt. It was right here at this very spot that I first met them. When I saw them, I thought my heart would break. Half frozen. She had the gumption to ask for a job rather than charity. God bless her. I was overwhelmed by their misfortune. She told me how her husband had left them without warning penniless, that many employers tried to exploit or to abuse her, while families turned her away because of the child. child was like a burst of sunshine in my life 
Now you choose anything you want. I discovered how much I needed beauty and innocence around me again. Pretty. How much I needed someone like little Dolly. Yes, I like that. As if okay, I were a we'll new mother, this. I showered her with okay. all my wealth would allow. Not having a child of my own, it gave me great pleasure to see the look on Dolly's face when I took her shopping. I think that's a death. I think that's I was surprised how pleased I was to have someone in my life who didn't claim to already know everything. Well, Dolly, I think these are the last days of Indian summer. Why do they call it Indian summer? <laughs> no, I don't know. I've never really thought about it. But that's a very good question. I wonder if it has anything to do with the fact that... We spent Christmas at my winter home. I discovered the joy of giving and sharing with those less fortunate. I longed desperately for her love. Those were the most beautiful days of my life. But they didn't last long. We had a very good harvest that year and a shortage of seasonal labor. So we hired a couple of drifters. They must have thought that Dolly was my daughter. Little did I realize what they were planning. brought them $25,000 in person. They wanted the money in cash to be brought to them at 10 o'clock. Okay, Elizabeth, listen to me. We were both desperate. Okay. This is what we're going to do. It was already Friday afternoon, and the banks were closed. All that I, have in the house and you'll tell them that I the gave Elizabeth the all the cash I had I in hand, some $3,500. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Oh, thank you. Okay, Elizabeth, don't lose hope. Dolly will be back with us. Who the hell is I don't know. Are you she the explained one? to the kidnappers Maybe. that the child yeah, was actually hers. Dolly. That she herself Dolly. was only a servant of mine. The money. Every... And that they had the made money. a terrible mistake. The money. It's right here. But I wanted to explain something. There's a terrible mistake. Shut up! 
They didn't believe her. They accused us of trying to trick them. You tell whoever's involved in this. The girl is safe. As soon as There's we only 3,500 here! Oh, that's what I've been trying to tell you! I've been trying to tell you it's my daughter! It's not Miss Flores' daughter! Shut up! Bitch! Come on, man. They Let's warned go. Let's get her out of here. Come that on! They better produce the money Please, by noon of the next day. Daughter! And now they wanted $50,000. and make the funeral arrangements. Don't. Please. Don't. Don't. Let's. Don't tell the police about the body. Let's just bury ourselves. Let's just bury your secrets oh, privately. Oh, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, please. They already know about the kidnapping. But they don't know that she's dead. of the local parish was an uncle of mine, Father Jonathan. He understood our problems and agreed to put the child to rest quickly and quietly. We buried her secretly that same night. The next morning, oh my God, it was horrible. I opened the door to Elizabeth's room. She hung herself. I had to call the police. To have buried another body secretly would have killed me too. A few days later, one of the kidnappers was arrested in an attempted bank robbery. They never found the other one, as far as I know. Whatever happened to the man that was captured? He was convicted of the kidnapping and sentenced to several years in jail. I guess he's still there. You wouldn't happen to remember his name, would you? Vic Morietta. Thanks. A few years later, I had a statue of a little girl erected to mark her grave. Oh, it must be in dreadful shape now. I just can't bear to go there anymore. I haven't visited Dolly in years. I am grateful for the information, and I'm sorry you had to go through it again. I think the, the secret you and Elizabeth and Father Jonathan shared should stay buried. Thank you, Mr. Hunt. You didn't happen to keep any of Elizabeth's things around, did you? Come with me. Elizabeth left very little when she died. Dolly was really everything she had, but I do have some of her things. Yes. I think I can let you have these now, Mr. Hunt. Thank you very much, Miss Bloor. You have been very helpful. 
I don't understand. How could you learn all this in just 48 hours? I'm a detective, sir. Just doing my job. Well, you've made a damn good start. More than a start. You know the kidnapper that was never captured? Well, I've already located his partner. After spending eight years in prison, he was recently released. He has a, a small country music band now, and they're playing in local taverns. It might take a little to make him talk. Off from whatever he asks. Money isn't important. The girl, the girl is. Exactly. But I represent a man who's ready to pay a lot for your services. What kind of services? Does the name Dolly Cooper ring a bell? Look, man, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. You got that? Take it easy, pal. I'm a private investigator, not a cop. It's my client who wants to know more about the kidnapping. And he's a very rich man. Listen, man. I just spent eight years of my life in prison, teaming up with a creep who left me to pay for his crimes. They were all his idea. And now you're coming around here telling me somebody's interested in a kidnapping that happened nine years ago? Who? That kid's mother hung herself the next day. I read it in the papers. Are you where the little girl was killed? You see, my friend, when you left your partner, he got scared. And instead of letting the little girl go, he killed her and sent the body back to her mother. No, 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 you're full of it, man. That's not the way it happened. I would have read about that in the papers. That's because Dolly's mother, after seeing the coffin, buried her daughter secretly that very night. Papers never reported the killing because the secret died with her in the attic. Come on, Vic. 
I need your help. I have to know how that little girl was killed. I have to find her killer and bring him to justice. Remember, Vic, he left you behind to take the fall. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm starting to like you, man. What do you want me to do? When you finish here tonight, you and I are going to go up to the Western Cemetery and dig up the grave of little Dolly Cooper. We're going to take a good look inside of her coffin. No way, man. I ain't no grave robber. We're just going to take a peek. This is gonna be a pretty picture. You got a hairpin or something? Man, let me handle this, will you? I'll drive the car through. Don't you go getting cold feet on me. Yeah, right. This is going to come as a bit of a shock. <laughs> this is what I found. This is our last warning. If you don't come up with the money on time, we'll send you the rest of your beautiful daughter. What is this? When Elizabeth saw Dolly's dress sticking out of the coffin, she naturally thought it contained Dolly's body. Looks like she jumped to the wrong conclusion too quickly. for her life. That means there's a... 
There's a chance that the child is still alive. Small chance, but not a child anymore. If she's alive at all, she's a 19-year-old woman now. No, I don't care what it costs. I know that. But there's something else I've got to know now. What? The truth. Before I do anything, I've got to know why you're doing all this. I have a strong feeling you're not telling me everything, Doctor. Mr. Hunt, Dolly Cooper is... I'm her father. What? Nineteen years ago, I was working in a mental hospital. Hello, Dr. McGregor. Oh, it's such a pleasure meeting you. My name's Elizabeth Cooper. My assistant was a beautiful young nurse named Elizabeth Cooper. She had just come from England, and she was beautiful. I wanted her, and she knew it. The desire was mutual. She had a gorgeous body. And she used it well. She was insatiable. Love was any time and anywhere. My office, my car. months pregnant, she said. We were impulsive. Happens, you know? I thought of her, of her career, I and of my own. About it. I, I want to keep the baby. Stupidly, I offered her money to have an abortion. She was hurt. Huh? Terribly hurt. She wanted our child. This is our, our baby. This is our love. Do you want to kill our baby? She threw the money in my face and walked out. I never saw her again. You can take your money and stop it! I wanted to. You know, I really did. But I didn't. And now I'm tormenting myself for something that happened 19 years ago. You know, at, at Dolly's grave, the name Cooper and the years made me wonder if she might be our daughter. I've got to know, Mr. Hunt. I've got to know what really happened to them. I'll do what I can. Okay, guys, Wong. Two, one, two, three, four. She's so fine, she's all mine. She'll be ready by eight or nine. She's my baby. She's my baby. What do you want now? Who's 
beard you want to dig up this time? I was asked to find Bruce. There's a possibility the girl's still alive, and he's the only one that knows for sure. Come on, I know you already paid your get your society. I'm giving you thousands of dollars here. Maybe you can buy a little publicity for your band. Yeah, right. A lot of places are going to book a guy. Kidnap the little girl. Spare me that bullshit. Come on, you can't talk here. mention the girl. Bruce wasn't in the letters, man, just cash. Detroit, Windsor, Buffalo. Last three are from Toronto. What do you make of it? Well, it doesn't take a genius to figure out. He was moving around and he wound up in Toronto. What do you think he's doing there? What do I look like, his mother? I told you before. He was a butcher, wasn't he? But maybe he's in Toronto beating his meat. Take this, man. I never showed this to the cops. Maybe that's why I never got cut. Where exactly was this taken? It wasn't taken in front of a scrapyard. I think it was some kind of a front. You wouldn't happen to know who these friends are, would you? Come on, man. It was 10 years ago. You gotta be kidding. One more question, Vic. Why would Bruce send your money? I think it's because of the way things went down. I got caught, he got away. I guess he figured he'd send me some money, help me out. He knew he owed me, man. Does Bruce know you're out of jail? No, he doesn't know. My parole officer called me about a month ago, said there was some cash there for me. So he doesn't know. Good. Remember more of these? Keep them, man. I don't need anything or anybody to remind me of that jerk, including you. You satisfied? Yeah. Yours? Get out. out with something. Got a quick question. I wasn't disturbing anything, was I? No. Have you ever seen this guy? No, nope, never seen him. What'd he do? What does it matter if you've never seen him? Doesn't. Bud, got a minute? Listen, <clears throat> have you ever seen this guy before? Which one? The guy on the left. Nah, not in the scrap game. But you know, I could swear I've seen this guy someplace before. Down at the mall, maybe. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Reminds me of the shoe shine guy works down at the mall on the promenade. You know, down by the river. Promenade, huh? Yeah. Good, thanks a lot. Oh. 
conference, eh? No, 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 I'll be there, I promise, okay? I'll be there. No, I'll be there. Look, I gotta go, all right? I promise I'll be there, okay? Goodbye. Jack, someone's been looking for that strange friend of yours. You know the shoeshine guy? Bruce? Is he a cop? I don't know, but he had a photograph of him, too. Yeah? Okay, thanks a lot. Yeah, I got it. Mary Hope in the fifth. Yeah, okay. Damn. You, Bruce? Yeah. The boss sent me to help you out of some trouble. Come on, let's go. Wait. How the hell do I know who you are? The name's Ron Hunt. Didn't anyone tell you? Maybe. Well, come on, what are you waiting for? Well, let me get my shit together. Listen, listen to me. A guy was here and he was asking, no, we listen. Yeah, well, our friends took care of it.
Where is the son of a bitch? Look around, see if you see him. Look around. This morning, I've got 10,000 bucks for us to pick up. Now, where the hell is he? What do you want me to say to you, Mike? What's that other guy's name at the scrapyard? Something like a jacket, something like that, anyway. You got a number? Yeah, I got a number. And I got a phone. Dial a phone. problem with the law. I had no problem with the law in 10 years. You mean since he kidnapped a little girl? Oh, shit. I... Shut up. You see, someone's been flashing your picture all over town and asking too many questions. He looks like a cop. So we've been doing a little digging of our own. We found out about the girl. The police probably found out, too. We know your buddy Vic Morietti. Remember, Vic? He's doing time up at Kingston. I think the cops want you for suspicion of homicide. You know, Bruce, it took a lot of hard work to organize the network we've got going here. Do you understand what I'm saying? What the hell do you want me to do? We can't afford to have a child killer working for us, Bruce. Real bad for business. A lot of nasty headlines. Look, I am not a child killer. It's all a big goddamn mistake. Are you saying our source is wrong? What I'm saying is I did not kill that child. Really? What'd you do with her then? Leave her in a convent? She's alive. She's still alive. Listen. It's like I told you. This Joker was around here looking for Bruce. Asking a lot of questions. I told Bruce about it right away and he said that everything was under control. He said that you guys were going to take care of him. We didn't, but we will as soon as we find him. Now, shit heel, where does he live? And uh, speak up a little bit because I'm starting to get mad, if you know what I mean. Lives in an old deserted building just east of here. Where exactly does the son of a bitch live? She, she lives with me. You know, I couldn't kill that innocent kid. When I heard that her mother had killed herself, I didn't know what the hell to do. I made up a story. I told her that we kidnapped her because I was her father. But I, I, I couldn't drag a little girl around. I told her... I told her that her mother had left me. That she wouldn't even allow me to visit her or see her. I told her that I loved her so much that I... that I missed her, that I wanted her for myself. She believed you. She was just a kid. Well, she cried for a couple of days, but what could she do? I mean, you know, she was just a kid. Now, what do you want to do with me? Because if you take me out, 
Somebody's got to take care of that little girl. Somebody's got to. What are you talking about? No one's going to get hurt. I was sent to help you, not to kill you. You've done all right by us over the last couple of years. We'll take care of you, Bruce. Don't you worry about that. You got any money stashed away? A little. N not much. Uh, enough, maybe, but look, I got no ID. I gotta have papers. I need transportation. Don't worry about it. We'll look after that. Finish up. I'll get that. Hey, Bruce, put 20 on the lease. Taking no more damn bets. I got bigger business than that. Asshole. Does anyone know where we are? Give me the paper. We live down here because I don't like taking any chances. Neither do I. This is a hell of a problem. You're going to be real quiet now, aren't you? Who is this man, Father? I don't know, darling. I don't know. But I'm damn sure going to find out. Private Eye be looking for us? No, darling. These are the bad people. They want to take your father away from you. Maybe, maybe, maybe my mother sent him to find me. to go home. I want, I want to go home to my mother. Shut up! Shut up! Please, for God's sake, shut up! There is no mother. You have no mother. There's just me, me, me. You understand me? Why don't you tell her the truth? You want the truth? No! Dad! No. No. You get it! Dad! Dad, you're gonna kill him, Daddy. Please, please, don't kill him. Okay? Don't, don't kill him, Daddy. He'd kill us if he had a chance. Dolly. I know this is hard for you to understand. But I'm doing this for your sake. I don't want anybody to die, Daddy. One word, rent a cop. One goddamn word, and I'll put this with a sun to shine. You dumbass cop. Took me for an idiot, huh? Well, you got some things figured out. You figured out a few, but you didn't figure everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm a bookie. More here than you'll make in your lifetime. But I don't work for no dumbass Canadians. I work for the mob. The mob out of Detroit. I'm a big man. When I saw your Canadian IDs and your Canadian plates, I knew something was wrong. I knew something was goddamn wrong. I'll talk to you later, cop. But right now, I've got to get over and see my friends so they don't get the wrong idea. Back in 
Dr. Donahue. Just, just stay quiet. Don't talk to him. He's full of lies. And he wants to hurt you. here and untie me. Dolly, I know everything about you and your mother. My mother? Did my mother send you to find me? Your mother's dead, Dolly. She's been dead nine years. Your real father hired me to find you. He wants me to bring you back to him. I don't understand you. My father is not my real father. Dolly, if he was, would he treat you like this? Would a real father confine someone he loved in the basement? Dolly, when was the last time you let you outside? When was the last time you talked to someone your own age or went to a movie? When was the last time you walked in the sun? Well, he lets me out sometimes. And I play in the scrapyard. And he only locks me up when he goes out. It's for my own safety. You see, there are bad people after me. They're after him, not you. He keeps you in here so you can't tell anyone about the kidnapping. Please be honest with me. Please tell me who you really are. Dolly, I'll tell you everything later. We don't have the time right now. Bruce will kill me when he gets back. How do you know my mother's dead? See that paper? Look at it, Dolly. Look at it. That's a newspaper article from nine years ago announcing the death of your mother, Elizabeth Cooper. She killed herself after Bruce took you away from her. I know, I tried to tell you. Look, I am in deep shit. Well, that's not all. The boys from Detroit were here, and they're mad. No, I sent them over to your place. Right. Just make damn sure they're there. All right, Jack. My mother. She's dead. Dolly, I'm sorry. I'm afraid so. She thought you were dead. So she took her own life after she buried your coffin in the cemetery. What are you talking about? What coffin? You better explain yourself to me, mister, if you want me to help you. Okay, all right, but I'll have to make it brief. Nine years ago, you and your mother were destitute. You had no place to go. to me, would you, sir? Dolly, why would I lie to you? Listen, I've told you everything. Now pull yourself together. We've got to get out of here. What do you want me to do? You've got to untie me before Bruce gets back. And then I'll take you away from all this. I'll take you to your real father. And Miss Bloor. Miss Bloor? Thanks, Dolly. 
Hurry up. Who the hell are you? The name's Hunt. I'm a private investigator. Oh, yeah? Why are you looking for Bruce? An old kidnapping case. About nine years ago, he took this girl from her mother for ransom. Her father hired me to find her, that's all. So, wise guy? How much do you know? Not much. Just that Bruce is a bookie. I'm not interested in him. Where's the son of a bitch now? I don't know. About 20 minutes ago, he stuffed a lot of cash into a bag and took off. Tie the girl. Nice and easy, my friend's not going to shoot you. Nice and easy. Not a girl. I'm going to hurt you. Shout out for my friend's going to shoot you. It's clear. We'll get back to you. to see you guys. Look, I got something. You stupid piece of shit. This scumbag doesn't even have a gun. Don't worry about it.
goofed. <laughs> so I bet you could use that drink now. Vicky, get us out of here. Those thugs are going to change their mind and come back and check on us. So, Ron, do I have exclusive rights to your story or what? Hurry up, Vicky. This is no time to horse around. Don't worry. I called the cops. They'll be here any minute. Please don't. What are you doing here? Well, you're a hell of a detective, Ron. But I'm a hell of a newswoman. And you smelled like a big story. So I've been following you ever since you left my office. I knew something big was going to happen. And now I'm here to collect. Who's the uh, jungle girl? This Vicky is Dolly Cooper. She is your story. Oh. You're going to do time. Look at you. Fire! I feel like killing you. I feel like killing you. I feel like, that's what I feel like when I feel like killing you. Mr. Hunt, as the detective, you are without a fear. Here. Oh, come on. Oh. Now our appreciation for what you've done. For my daughter. And for me. And as they say, our house is your house. Thank you. Thank you. Miss Bloor, I was wondering if... Call me Sarah. Yes, okay, Miss, I mean Sarah. I was wondering if we could... I think what my father's trying to say is... He'd like you to join us for lunch sometime. Yes. Yes, that's what I was trying to say. Could we have lunch together? I'd be delighted. And as for you, I'll never forget you. I want you to take care of yourself, okay? down every word I'm about to tell you. This better be good. Oh, don't worry. It will. After all, we've got three whole days and nights ahead of us. Nights? Yeah. Nights. I don't work nights. Who said anything about work?